Hi beautiful people, welcome to Law Made Simple and Comprehensive. Today I would like us to tackle the first assignment of CSR 15 row 1. I would like us to start with question 6 and 7 which are the calculations because I know that I'll be tired when I reach uh, these questions if I could start from the first question. So I want to do this right from the start while I'm still fresh. Um, question 6 Gadi purchased a Porsche Cayenne last week for 1 million rand vet inclusive while driving from the Mbombela Nelspreit area in Pumalanga he collides with Mabuza who is the owner driver of a chip Gadi is 15% negligent whereas Mabuza is 43% negligent the damage to the Porsche is estimated at 356,000 rand it is uneconomical to repair the chip, but its salvage of its salvage value is one hundred and eighteen thousand rand. The pre-accident value of the chip was three hundred and ninety-nine thousand rand. When we say that a car is um, it is uneconomical to repair a car, we mean that it will be a waste of money or other resources to repair that car. You know um, we can just uh, say that the car was damaged beyond repair with reference to the damages to Gadi and Mabuza's motor vehicle calculate who must pay whom and what would be the amount in damages when you look at page 114 of your study guide you are going to find the apportionment of damages this is where we are going to find guidelines on how to do the calculations um you can just do your just do this on your own it's a very simple one you are going to see it when i do the question six just do this on your own all right um we're going to start with Gadi, who was a 15% negligent. We are going to start with the pre-accident value and the salvage value. The pre-accident value was 399,000 Rand. Then we minus the salvage value, which is 118,000. And that is going to give us 281000, zero, zero, which is 281 and three zeros. Yes. There you have it. 281,000. This is the amount that I am referring to. You get this amount when you. <laughs> I want to change the color, yeah. All right. This is the amount that you're going to get when you mine when you uh, minus the salvage value from the pre-accident value. Then you multiply by the negligent percentage and divide it by 100 because we know that percentage is out of 100, right? You remember from the question that a gadu was 15% negligent then we're going to divide that 15 by 100 multiply by the amount that we received when we minus the salvage value from the pre-accident value which was 281,000 um the amount is going to be 42,150 rand that's all then when we come to Mabuza, we do not have the pre-accident value and all that. We are just going to simply take the 43% of the negligence divided by 100, 100 and multiply it by the 356,000 rand, which is the estimation of the damages uh, to the Porsche then we are going to get an amount of 153,080 then um 
when you take the 153,080 and minus the 42,000, oh man, what am I doing? The 42 that we found from the salvage value, we are going to get an amount of 110. Thousand nine hundred and thirty rand. Then we say Mabuza must pay Gadi an amount of one hundred and thirty. Yeah, one hundred and ten thousand nine hundred and thirty rand. Yes, yeah, that one. Even if I didn't say correctly. You know what I'm trying to say. You can see. Yeah. So um. But for you to fully understand what I am actually saying, you need to go through this first. This is the first page that you need to start from. Then you can simply go to the memo that I provided the. Then you are going to simply understand how I reach that one. Everything is just here, plain and clear, so simple. Now we are going to get to the last question, which is question seven. Okay. Um, the attendance account. Let me check the page. On the same page, page 115, just below the damages, you're going to find the legal practitioner's attorney's account. This is the example that you need to follow, but it's just not so clear. You need someone to explain this to you. I do have a video made by our lecturer um it was posted some time back in 2020 just look for that video it's written um scr 1501 tutorial calculations something like that yeah this is way um the um lecturer explained how to do this without listening to that video trust me you're not going to get like you, you're not you're not going to understand anything trust me I also had a hard time, but after listening to that video, I was able to get everything correct. Thomas Sankara approaches Mangaliso Sobukwe of Azania Attorneys, an attorney at law practicing in the city of Madikizela Mandela, to assist him with his claim for damages resulting from his dispute with Muntu Kamiesa. They agreed re narration is as follows every letter written 105 rand and 50 cents every letter received 87 rand and 25 cents drafting of summonses um this one we need to ignore it yes drafting of an affidavit 88 rand and 50 cents per page or any part thereof. Telephonic consultations, 119 rand and 50 cents per 10 minutes or any part thereof. Consultation, 977 rand per 30 minutes or any part thereof. Okay, when we say that um, or any part thereof, we are referring to, um, okay, they mean that, um, okay, I, I'm just going to give an example about uh, the telephonic consultation, which is 119 rand and 50 cent per 10 minutes or any part thereof. Uh, this means that um, even if the call was maybe um, 16 minutes, I'm just giving an example it will be 10 minutes and an additional six minutes right we are going to charge that additional six minutes as if it was 10 minutes straight full as if the the way they are charging it when we talk about uh the affidavit we are charging 800 and uh, sorry 88 rand and 50 cents per page or any part Day off. This means that um, one page is 88 rand and 50 cents, right? So even if um, we have half a page, 
we are going to charge that half a page as if it was a full complete page which costs 8850 cents mm -hmm. that's it simple stamps seven seven range and 25 cents vet exclusive during the past month the attorney rendered the following services received 11 letters which are charged at 87 rand and 25 cents yes and wrote and posted a nine letters so with this postage you need to remember that when you post something you're supposed to add stamps to it we need stamps so this is where the stamps come in on the postage of the letters and writing a letter we charge um 105 rand and 50 cents drafted for affidavits this is a way this is where everything starts being a a dear maker <laughs> if you can say that all right now i need you to listen very attentively we have written four affidavits one consisting of one and a half pages so it's one page and a half you remember the any part thereof story yes this half a page is going to be charged as if it was a one full page as well so it's one and a half pages which means that it will be two pages then um another one consists another one which is one consists of two and a half pages which makes it three pages then two consisting of four and a half pages these ones they are two but they consist of four and a half pages which makes it five pages right the first one will consist of five pages and the second one again will consist of also five pages when we add two plus three plus five plus five how many do we get that's 15 am i correct so this one consists of 15 pages charged at it's a affidavit charged at 88 rand and 50 cents all right um consulted thrice which is three times telephonically first for 23 minutes secondly for 11 and a half minutes remember that we charge per 10 minutes right yeah and later for 36 minutes all right um how many 10 minute sessions do we have in 33 minutes in the first 30 minutes we have three then plus the additional three minutes which makes it four sorry not 33 <laughs> 23 i was looking at the consultation i'm sorry you guys i'm sorry let me just highlight it so that i see where i am yeah um consulted rise telephonically for first for first 23 minutes second 11 and a half minutes and later for 36 minutes okay how many um for 10 uh, we charge per 10 minutes right so how many 10 minute sessions do we have in 23 minutes we have three 10 minute sessions because you're going to count the first 10 minutes and the second 10 minutes which makes it 20 and the 23 minutes i uh, sorry and the three minutes makes it another we're going to count it as is as if it was 10 minutes so it is going to be three 10 minutes sessions secondly um 11 and a half that is going to be 
two 10 minute sessions. It's 10 minutes and the additional one and a half minute as well, which makes it two 10 minute sessions. And later for 36 minutes. How many 36? How many 10 minute sessions do we have in 36 minutes? That is four 10 minute sessions. We're going to count the first 30 minutes and say that it is three um, 10 minute sessions. And the six minutes, we're going to count it as if it was a full 10 minutes. That makes it four 10 minute sessions. Are we clear? You're going to understand everything. Let me show you. we have everything here i'm going to i just want you to understand where all this is coming from because they haven't specified here you know so i just want you to understand everything they only specified here on the affidavit the telephonic and the consultation but on the other ends they did not so i just want you to understand everything i'm just going to show you everything we're going to do the calculations together we're going to i'm just explaining the question right now so that you understand you know consultation twice first for 33 minutes and later for two and a half hours okay consultation um goes for we charge per 30 minutes so um how many 30 minute sessions do we have in 33 minutes that is two i think now you get the hang of it because we're going to count the first 30 minutes and the additional three minutes which we're going to count it as if it was a whole 30 minutes so um how many 30 minute sessions do we have in two and a half hours we have five firstly let's count this is two and a half hours right for the first hour how many for the first one hour how many 30 minute sessions do we have in one hour we have two 30 minute sessions and for the second hour we also have two 30 minutes sessions which makes it four and for the half the half is automatically 30 minutes so it makes it five don't worry, we're going to understand everything. Mama. Oh. Mama. Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. It's a Saturday. People are around. Okay. Instructed an advocate to draft a pleading. The advocate charged 2,125 rand. Vet exclusive. So, um, these vet exclusive amounts are charged out of our pockets they're not coming in they're going out we are paying we are being charged so it will automatically fall into the expenses column um he referred the client to nomzamo clinic in the city to consult a specialist at a cost of thirty thousand two hundred and forty seven rand and fifty cents that exclusive you see the medical bill is an expense to us we are being charged that's the amount that we paid three thousand two hundred and forty seven rand and fifty cents then it says a draft mangaliso so bukwe of azania attorney's comprehensive statement to of account to thomas sankara yeah baby okay now let's see Here we received 11 letters charged at 87 rand and 25 cent. So when we multiply 87 rand and 25 cent by 11, we are going to get 959 rand and 75 cents, which is our fees. Clear, yeah, right? Yes. Um, for this, you need to write the fees you need to write this in columns just like the way it is here but maybe you can have any other way of doing it but this is how our lecturer um showed us to do it so 
I played with you guys to first watch the other video then you come back here for the correct answer this you just you're just going to watch this one for the correct answer but uh, the method and everything you're going to get it on the other video which was made by the lecturer okay and uh, we have written nine letters which costed 105 rand and 50 cents when we multiplied nine by um 105 rand and 50 cents we got an amount of 900 rand ah, 949 rand and 50 cents then we also posted those nine letters correct so um for this one you need your calculator i don't know if you know how to do it with your cell phone but i used a straight calculator the stamp um was charged one stamp was charged at seven rand and 25 cents then we are going to say remember that we posted nine letters we are going to say that um 7.25 oh my calculator is making noise i'm sorry plus 15 percent you don't press any equal sign or anything just pre just um say 7.25 plus 15 percent you click that percent straight then you are going to get 8.33 3, which is a trend and 33 cents then you are going to say a point eight eight rand and 33 cents multiply by nine because we we wrote and posted nine letters you are going to get an amount of i'm sorry 74 rand and 97 cents then the decided to convert that all right when we get to the affidavit remember that um we written we wrote um four affidavits one consisting of one and a half page which makes it two pages here and secondly we wrote um, one affidavit consisting of three pages, one and a, two and a half. I say it's three, and two affidavits, each consisting of four and a half pages, which makes it five pages, and the other one is also five pages when you all add all these together you're going to get 15 then we are going to say 15 multiplied by eight eight rand what am i doing 15 multiplied by 88 rand and 50 cents that's the amount that we're charging and then you are going to get an amount of 1327 rand and 50 cents just ignore all this you don't have to worry about it uh, no i'm referring to these amounts here you can just do it all at once and not write this but if you wish you can do it but it's not so much compulsory and then um the telephonic consultation was 119 rand per 10 minutes and remember how many 10 minute sessions do we have in 23 minutes that is three how many 10 minute sessions do we have in 11 and a half minutes two how many 10 minute sessions do we have in 36 minutes four then we are going to say 119 rand and 50 cents multiplied by 
9 hmm? yes by 9 and we are going to get that amount which is 1075 rand and 50 cents we had two consultations which um one session was charged at 30 minutes for the first consultation we had and we also have um five 30 minutes sessions in two and a half hours then you are going to multiply seven by um consultation how much do we charge for that again by 977 rent yes ah, i'm looking for something that i have on my screen what's wrong with me okay and we are going to get an amount of 6839 rent then for the advocate fee we don't have to calculate anything there we only have to say um 2125 rand plus 15 percent which is the vet then you're going to get an amount of 2400 2443 rand and 75 cents the specialist fees these are the, this is the medical bill the clinic one nomzamo we will charge to three thousand two hundred and forty seven rand and fifty cent then we're going to add that with a vet which is a fifteen percent you don't add the equal sign guys just press we press or you do what i don't know with the calculator just do um three thousand just punch three thousand two hundred and forty seven and fifty plus fifteen percent then you're going to receive the you're going to to to, to get the total of three thousand seven hundred and three four hundred and sixty threes then we are going to add everything together on our first column we are going to add nine hundred and fifty nine rand and 75 cents with um 949 rand and 50 cents 1327 rand and 50 cents 1075 rand and 50 cents 6839 rand all together then you are going to receive an amount of 11000 151 rand and 25 cents then we also come to our expenses or our costs column we are going to um add this uh, the, the, the stamps amount which is 75 rand and four cents with the advocate fee which is 2,443 rand and 75 cents together with the medical bill which is 3,734 rand and 63 cents and we are going to receive an amount of 6,253 rand and 42 cents all right after the addition we are going to say um 115 11,151 rand and 25 cents multiplied by 0 0.15 then you are going to get an amount of 1,672 rand and 69 cents. The client is going to pay. 
I was referring to the video to make sure that I am giving out the correct method. Yes, um, so 1,672 cents and 69 cents. It is the amount of VAT that we are going to pay because remember that this is VAT exclusive and yes, this is VAT uh, exclusive. What was I saying? <laughs> yo, 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 you guys. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, guys, I lost focus. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you hear me say yo, 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 people are knocking. Hey. Um. Okay. Then you are going to take um this vet of yours so that you calculated of one thousand six hundred and six hundred and seventy two rand and sixty nine cents. Then you add it to this amount here and it's going to give you a total of 12,823 rand and 94 cents then you take your expenses these are the expenses these are the same expenses which we found here remember yes then you add it to this twelve thousand eight hundred and twenty-three rand and ninety-four cents, then you're going to get a total of nineteen thousand and seventy-seven randy and thirty-six cents. That is the total due. No, um, on these amounts, apart from the when you're looking for the um, vet, everything is just additional. You just add everything together then you find your answer simple as that um you can say that our video is quite very long now it's um 32 minutes so um i suggest that um i just post this video and do the other one